sorry. Hey, Glam Fam, how's everybody doing today? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, happy Cinco de Mayo. Can you guess what this look is for? Yes, Cinco de Mayo. So I'm trying to be more inclusive with uh, cultural aspects with the channel. So I'm going to be doing this a little bit more often. This happens to be my first one. Um, I think this look came out pretty good. The lips don't work for me, unfortunately. I think it's a little bit much um, for this experiment. It just didn't work. But, you know, maybe something else might work. I don't know in the future. We'll see. You live and you learn. Um, so, yes, we got our typical red, white, and green with some glitter we got some glow here and yeah if you guys are interested to see how I created this look make sure you keep on watching and if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel and when you do make sure you hit that little bell that way you get all of my notifications whenever I drop new content so let's go ahead and get started starting out our brows and our lids have already been primed so we're just gonna jump into it for the first palette that we're using, we're using the Festivals palette by Juvia and we're starting off with that deep red. This red will act as our crease color. So we wanna go ahead and map out the shape for our crease and then we're gonna end up blending it out. So now that we have our red base, we're switching to our Take Me Back to Brazil palette and we're going for that deep black. Now when we add this black, it's going to be to the outmost corner of our eyes and we're basically mapping out the wing. Now that we have our wing extension for our eyeshadow mapped out, we're going in with our white concealer. This is by Pro Conceal. And we're basically adding the base for our cut crease. Now, since we're using white for the cut crease, we need it to be as bright as possible. So we're gonna go ahead with that white concealer, map that out, get that as crisp as you can. Then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna switch to our jumbo eyeliner pencil. And this is basically going to enhance that opaque whiteness again. We're also going to bring our cut crease a little bit higher as well. That way you can still see that white when we open our eyes. Now that we have our white base, we're going back into the Festivals palette and we're going for that shimmer white eyeshadow. And here, you're just applying that to wherever you put the white concealer beforehand. That way, you can already see that this white is super, super bright compared to the other side. Now that we have most of our pigment done, um, I'm actually using my finger and I'm trying to blend between that white and that black. It's making a like a metallic silver, which is not something I really wanted, but when you're mixing white and black, you're gonna get silver, you're gonna get gray. So we have to roll with it. So this is what our eyeshadow build looks like and I'm pretty satisfied with that. So now we're just gonna switch over. We're gonna have our lashes and our face process already done. So now that we have our face process done, we have our blush and everything, we're actually gonna start with our under lash line. 
and we're going for that Afrique palette and we're going for that green. This is how we're going to bring together the red, white, and green. When we apply this green, we want to make sure we have a hefty amount. That way the green really shines through. So I thought that green was actually going to work for me, but it kind of doesn't. So we're going to switch to our shimmer palette by BH Cosmetics and we're going to go for a brighter green and we're going to put that bright green over where we had that darker green because it just, the green wasn't strong enough for me. So we just need to add a little bit more. Now we're going in with our mascara, uh, the Mega Wear by Wet n Wild and we're just going to, you know, spruce up our bottom lashes. While I was doing this look, I thought it might be a little fun to add some glitter. So we're going in with our base booster and we're going to apply the glitter adhesive to our inner tear ducts. And we're going to go over that with some loose glitter. The loose glitter that we're using is, of course, green. As I showed you guys before, we have glitter lips for this look. So we're going in with our Max Clear Lip Gloss just to apply a sticky base for our glitter. Now starting out, I just went ahead with a straight green loose glitter lip. And you know what? I think it's, it was a fun idea, but the execution just wasn't, it wasn't good for me. So I ended up doing something different a little bit later on. See right here, I decided that the green alone wasn't good. So I thought it would be fun if I added the red and the silver to the lips as well. That way we can get more of that red, white, and green type feel. So I ended up having to go over all of that green with another color because just trying to take the glitter off is just too hard. So for the video purposes, I just went ahead and put the colors on top of each other. So here we are with um, the glitter lips and how it looks. Uh, again, I thought it was a pretty fun idea. I'm not really a fan of the execution, but like I said, you live and you learn. Please let me know what you guys think about this look in the comments below. Like, share, and subscribe, support the channel, and I will see you guys in the next one.